We've seen how to bring animations from Dash Studio into Unreal Engine and apply them to our Dash characters. Now let's have a look how we can apply animations that were made for the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin because there's so many of those out there. So I'm going to pick a pack from my Epic Launcher here and that's from MoCap Online. So the way to do this is you head over to your library and then under your vault you can go and disable everything so that you can whittle down your selection and just select animations and those are all the animation packs that I have. I might go and use the pedestrian walks here so I'm going to add that to my project and this is going to be called das 51 g 81 that's the one. Add to project and it takes a moment to download and install. Great, there we have it. So under walks, I can find a new animation folder and there's a root motion folder and these are all the animations that come with this pack. So let's go and pick this one here, walk for texting. If I double click that, this is what it looks like. But notice this isn't made for my DAS character. This is made for the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. And as such, this means all these animations that I see here cannot work on my DAS character. So uh, case in point, if I go and try to do that in the list, they just don't appear. They're just not in the list, as you probably would have guessed. And this means we need to go and either employ live retargeting, as we've already seen, or we need to use our retargeter asset and have the retargeter convert them to our DAS asset. Let's see how to do that. I could use the stock retargeter that comes with DAS to Unreal in here. That is under retarget. This is the one. But the thing is, I may have to make some adjustments. So I'm going to go and use this one here, the G81ROTFIX0ROTIK retargeter, catchy name. I'm going to go and left click and drag that out and put it into my custom characters folder. Copy here. And then in here, I'm going to call that RTUE4 to Thea, just so that I know what this retargeter asset is going to do. I'll double click it to open it. And here I'm going to have to specify my source and my destination figure. So IK mannequin is not what I want to use. This is the source. A target I already know. That's going to be my fair character. There she is. But the IK rig and the preview mesh are wrong. So we want to use the mesh and the skeleton from the animations pack that I brought in, not Epic. But I do want to bring in the IK rig that Epic provide with third person template. And that is this one here, the IK UE4 mannequin. That is going to be my source. But if I do that, then the, the preview mesh switches to the UE4 mannequin. But notice that at the bottom right here, I can only see a single animation that we can now convert. And that's the one that comes with the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. We need to provide the mesh, or rather the skeleton, that comes with the animations pack that I've just brought in. Thankfully, it's called exactly the same. It's this one here. It's under Walks Character Mesh. And if I go and switch to that, then we can see that all kinds of other animations are now appearing down here. So let's go and have a look at these and see if those are the ones I want to use. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. <laughs> And it looks like they're okay on my DAS character. Perfect. So you can either go and select multiple. I might go and filter this out by IP for in place. And we'll go and only pick the ones, like just pick a few that are in place. So I'll just go select these and say export selected animations. And I'll go and put them into DAS to Unreal animation and maybe go make a new folder, call that walks here. No prefix, postfix. I'm just going to hit export. And that is where all my new converted animations are going to end up in. And this now means I can go back to my character and now play all these new animations on her, just like I did the other one. So here's one in place relaxed. Let's go and do this in simulate mode again. It's kind of facing the, the wrong way. That's okay. But there we go. This is an Unreal Engine 4 animation that's now working on my DAS character. And there's just, you know, a lot of other animations that I'm working on here. A little bit lithe. Very cool. Yes, that's how you can do that. And all of these are also usable as keyframe animations in the level sequencer and with any of the facial expression morphs that I've shown you earlier.